I'm in the hospital right now by myself. I'm the only one in here. I've been here since 8.30 this morning. As you can see, it is a probably 8.05 right now. I've been here all day long. My wife has just got out of still in recovery. I started off with a room full of people. It is now almost 12 hours since I've been here sitting in this one room. This one room. I've been sitting here for almost 12 hours. I've watched the sun come, pretty much come up here, and I watched the sun go down here. This has been my view for 12 hours. The surgery went good, just to let you know. Everything went good. The surgery went good. Everything's good. Um, they took out her limb note. They took out her thyroid. Um, she's recovering right now, so everything's good. Um, it's just, I'm just ready to go see her, and then ready to go to the hotel, get something to eat, relax, to sleep. I'm tired. I've been up since 6 this morning, and um, I'm just ready to go home. Ready to go back to the hotel, get something to eat, and um, chill out. And then come back in the morning. Hopefully, she get dismissed tomorrow, and then I can probably uh, go to difficulty. There we go. And hopefully, tomorrow we can see what the status is now. Maybe, she, hopefully, she get dismissed because I know they're keeping it for the night. So we'll see how that goes. But ladies and gentlemen, twelve hours. This is just way too long. I mean, they didn't do a surgery to almost. Five in the evening, five twelve. I think that's when they text me said they were gonna do a surgery. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely. I mean, they squeezed the end. I appreciate that, but damn. I've been sitting in this thing. Even the staff is gone. The staff is gone. When I mean the staff is gone, they're gone. They're gone for the day. There's nobody at this desk. Nobody right down this hallways. There's nobody here. Nobody here but one person I just saw. The nurses are somewhere. I don't know where they are. But you no, know, I'm ready to go. See my wife. So I see how she's doing. She's probably still out of it because she doesn't take anesthesia too good. So that's going to be hard on her. So, you got to stay the night. But see, this hospital doesn't let you stay the night with your wife. So, I have no choice to go but to go. So, I'm ready to go. I am ready to go. Anyway, this is your boy, Mr. Mack. I'm just at Tampa, at the hospital in Tampa Bay. Um, so, we'll holler at y'all tomorrow, so, it's just a quick update of what's going on, so.